Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about energetics of glycolysis and Krebs cycle. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So during glycolysis, one ATP is consumed when glucose gets converted into glucose six phosphate. Second ATP is consumed when fructose 6 phosphate is converted into fructose 1 6 bisphosphate two nadh are generated when glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is converted into 1 3 bisphosphoglycerate now 1 nadh is equivalent to 2.5 atp hence 2 nadh is equivalent to 5 atp Two more ATPs are produced when 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate is converted into 3-phosphoglycerate. Again, two ATPs are generated when phosphoenol pyruvate is converted into pyruvate. Hence, net gain of energy in glycolysis is 7. Then we will talk about energetics of Krebs cycle. So during Krebs cycle, two molecules of NADH are produced when pyruvate converts into acetyl-CoA. Two molecules of NADH are produced when isocitrate converts into oxalosuccinate. Two molecules of NADH are produced when alpha-ketoglutarate converts into succinyl-CoA. Two molecules of GTP are produced when succinyl-CoA converts into succinate. Two molecules of FADH2 are generated when succinate converts into fumarate. Two molecules of NADH are produced when malate converts into oxaloacetate. And 1 NADH is equivalent to 2.5 ATP. So, 2 NADH are equivalent to 5 ATP. And 1 GTP is equivalent to 1 ATP. So, 2 GTP are equivalent to 2 ATP. And 1 FADH2 is equivalent to 1.5 ATP. Hence, 2 FADH2 are equivalent to 3 ATP. Hence, net gain of ATP from Krebs cycle is 25. So, ATP yield in glycolysis is 7 and Krebs cycle is 25. Hence, ATP yield from one molecule of glucose is 32. 